All right, guys, today we're going to make biscuits, but we're going to have biscuits and bacon and gravy. We're going to make a gravy out of our bacon fat. Yeah, that's healthy. Uh, but follow along. I'm going to put the biscuits together first, so we're going to use Bisquick. All right, guys, here's the ingredients. We've got milk. We've got one and two-thirds cup of milk. Now, we've been out of milk. So we have, this is actually um, powdered milk. We make our own milk with powdered milk. And, of course, just the original. There's the back side, and there's the original uh, biscuit uh, for Bisquick. We're going to uh, start out. We need two and a third cup. Now, I'm going to measure. Believe it or not, I'm going to measure today. You know, that's something I rarely do is measure. But get this opened up here, and we're going to put in two and a third cup of Bisquick. Get it to come out. Sometimes it just has to be loosened up here a little bit. There we go. There's one. There's two, and that looks like about a third. So much for the measuring. It's in the bottom here. Let's get that all the way out. There we go. So anyways, there's two and a third cup of Bisquick. So our next uh, thing we want to do is I like to spice up a little garlic juice here. So what I'm doing here is not really putting the garlic so much in it. As the juice we've talked about this before I wish I could just find just garlic juice <laughs> so mix our milk as like I said again this is instant milk instead of record we're out of milk we haven't been able to get to the store yet with this virus it's still gonna be a little while and just mix this up good here till we get a nice Biscuit like paste, or what do you call it, a dough. Start out with a uh, a fork. And then I'm going to go to my hands here if we get a lot of it mixed in here. We're going to take out, we have our air fryer. We're going to make these in the air fryer. We have it set at 400 degrees for eight minutes. And we'll see how that goes on it. So I'm just going to take my hand here. And mix this dough up so we get a nice this isn't I don't think you need to mix these just get enough to get all the flour incorporated into it you know I don't think you have to uh, knead it down to the point like you would bread or nothing I just basically want to get all that dough mixed up with the flour that's there I like to do the little squeeze Pretty much getting it there. Try to get it. Now this is the boring part. <laughs> Mixing up the dough. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just keep pulling off and make little round biscuits. And of course, uh, you can make them bigger or smaller as you get it. Well, that stuff really sticks to your your fingers really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make these up here, and then I'll be back. You no, know, I sprayed the inside of my basket down. That I this is canola, and I'm just gonna a mist in there. Should make them crisp up nicely. 400 degrees for eight minutes. We'll come back and see how they done. It might have to go a little more or less. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to uh, get our pan right here for the bacon. So, all right, to do our bacon, bikes, boats, and bivouac, Scott, we're going to be using a cast iron skillet. So 
Uh, this is what we're going to fry our bacon up in. You can't beat cast iron. It does the best. We'll get our bacon out. Now we have Smithville bacon. It's a uh, thick cut. We're going to be frying this all up into the uh, uh, cast iron skillet. There's a lot of grease there. I think we're going to be good. We're going to put in, I have a third, third cup of flour and we're going to cook that flour down. I'm turning my temperature on down. Now you want to do is you want to cook that flour down so that you don't get a, a, a flour taste. You'll, you'll, you'll notice it'll change color here. Now, I do a lot of stirring. I got to get a pot holder here because that's cast iron gets hot. That's the idea of cast iron. You notice this will turn kind of a, a brown or an amber. It'll turn for us. So we're going to let that cook down. But I want to add some, got some garlic powder. I like to flavor up my gravy, some garlic powder. This is Himalayan pink salt. We'll put some salt in there. We're gonna put in some uh, pepper. I like quite a bit of pepper because it's really makes it up nice. Let's get that going as we're cooking down. I might went down a little too low on my temperature. Stir, stir, stir. You already see it. It's already turning more of an amber color. Now I'm going to add some garlic. Actually, I'm going to add that at the end. One thing about garlic, it'll get bitter. If you put it in too quick, it'll get bitter. So we'll get that ready. Looking for my can opener. Of course, it's never where you find it. There it is. They hide. Do you notice that? You go in the drawer and the utensil will hide. We're going to do something different here. I've got a home brew beer that I've had in here. I believe this is a, um, a Belgium beer. But we're going to, for some of our liquid, we're going to add some of that beer. Oh, it's still got flavor. So, still got the uh, fizz in it. And turn our thing back up to about medium here and get this. Uh, this is what you call roux. We've got the uh, flour cooked down into the bacon grease. And we're going to use chicken broth. I had part of a can of chicken broth. We're going to use a little bit of that to start out with here. And I stir like crazy because. Uh, I don't know about you guys, I don't like lumpy gravy. Now we're going to start adding our beer. This is actually a darker beer, which is a great thing. Now this is a 12 ounce bottle of homebrew beer. Just going to add the whole thing. You know, I have lost track of what style these beers was. These are an aged beer. I've had them for a long, long time. And so I've kind of, but I know this is a darker beer. I like darker gravies. You know, a lot of the typical biscuits and gravy uh, scenario that most people make, it has milk and that in it. I don't like light gravies, light anything, because I think dark equals flavor. You can see it's thickening up real nice here. A little spillage there. We'll clean that up. Gosh, it's about done. Look at this. I think it's thickened up really nice. Turn that down just a little more here. Now I'm gonna take my spoon here and we're gonna add, add some garlic, just about a nice tablespoon of garlic in there.
this is my version of bacon gravy. And you see it's dark on like most bacon gravy. They're light with milk in it. I don't really put care for myself. I know a lot of people love it with the light, but I like good scrapers. Let's see if I can get a taste of it without burning my mouth here. I'm going to add a little more salt to it. That should about do it. Turn it off because I think it's done doing its thing. Here it goes, guys. Let's uh, get ready here. We'll put this together and make up a dish. TVs and what you're used to. This was made with, I thought it was like, uh, a Belgian beer, but it, it was a porter. It was a dark beer. So, and I love the dark flavors. So we're gonna take one out here. Look at that biscuit. I'm gonna just break it open here. Put a couple slices of bacon on there. And throw some that gravy over top of that biscuit. So there you go. We're gonna eat more than this, but just wanted to show you plated up some bacon there. Let's take a bite of that biscuit. That's pretty good, guys. Very strong flavor from what, like an, another one. So you don't have to use this type of gravy. You could use standard gravy. But I thought I'd try something different here. Give this one a try. It's pretty good. Hope you enjoy it. This is our breakfast. This will probably be our daily meal. <laughs> so. Hey, we'll see you guys next time. If you got any questions, comment. Leave it in the section below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of our next videos. We got always something coming out, and usually three times a week, we do a video. So thanks for joining us. Happy breakfast eating, guys. We'll see you the next time. All right, if you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group, uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there, but you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, again, up in this picture, you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in, make all your purchases. And uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It uh, We get a small percentage back. Costs you absolutely nothing, uh, but it does help us out and we appreciate that. But I just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.